food and its component. Objectives The chapter Food and its Components illustrates the vital nutrients of the diet, nutrition charts, and also the chemical composition of the essential nutrients. Materials of Daily Use Elaborates origin of natural and synthetic fibers, physical properties of substances, and their impact on daily life. Air and Water for Life this unit concentrates on the life-saving essentials of air and water, their properties, their components, and their effect on human life. Introduction A substance which gives energy and keeps the body in good health is called food. Several types of nutrients constitute food. Food is one of the basic requirements of all living organisms. In fact, no organism can survive without food. Living organisms need food for their growth and development. Food also provides energy for various life processes in the body. Food is necessary for both plants and animals. Plant parts and animal products as food. Plants are one source of our food. We eat many leafy vegetables. We eat fruits of some plants, sometimes roots, sometimes stems, and even flowers. Some plants have two or more edible parts. Seeds of mustard plants give us oil, and the leaves are used as vegetable. Plant parts as food. Take some dry seeds of moong or channa. Put a small quantity of seeds in a container filled with water and leave this aside for a day. Next day, drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel. Wrap them with a piece of wet cloth and set aside. The following day, do you observe any changes in the seed? A small white structure may have grown out of the seeds. If so, the seeds have sprouted. If not, wash the seeds in water, drain the water and leave them aside to another day, covered with a wet cloth. The next day, see if the seeds have sprouted. After washing these sprouted seeds, you can eat them. They can also be boiled. Add some spices and get a tasty snack to eat. Animal products as food. Bees collect nectar, sweet juices from flowers, convert it into honey and store it in their hive. Flowers and their nectar may be available only for a part of the year. So, bees store this nectar for their use all through the year. When we find such a beehive, we collect the food stored by the bees as honey. Test for starch. Take a small quantity of food item or a raw ingredient. Put two to three drops of dilute iodine solution on it. Observe if there is any change in the color of the food item. Did it turn blue-black? A blue-black color indicates that it contains starch. Presence of carbohydrates. Take a raw potato and cut it into two equal halves. Now, add two drops of iodine solution on the cut end of the potato and observe. You will find that iodine will turn blue-black. Can you explain why is it so? Potato contains starch and starch gives a blue-black color with iodine. Presence of fat. Take a piece of white paper and put a drop of ghee, butter, or any other cooking oil in it and rub. You will find that the portion of paper becomes translucent. This indicates that the substance has fat in it. Test for proteins. Take a small amount of egg albumin, white portion, in a test tube and add a few drops of concentrated nitric acid and heat. You will find that the white color of albumin changes to yellow. Now, Pour the acid out of the test tube 
Keep the albumin white portion in the test tube. Add a few drops of ammonium hydroxide to the albumin white portion and note the change of color. The color changes to violet, which shows the presence of proteins. What do various nutrients do for our body? Carbohydrates mainly provide energy to our body. Fats also give us energy. In fact, fats give much more energy as compared to the same amount of carbohydrates. Foods containing proteins are often called bodybuilding foods. Vitamins help in protecting our body against diseases. Vitamins also help in keeping our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. Vitamins are of different kinds known by different names. Some of these are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and K. There is also a group of vitamins called vitamin B complex. Our body needs all types of vitamins in small quantities. Vitamin A keeps our skin and eyes healthy. Vitamin C helps body to fight against many diseases. Vitamin D helps our body to use calcium for bones and teeth. A balanced diet menu for a 12 year old child for one whole day shown in the table. Deficiency diseases. A person may be getting enough food to eat but sometimes the food may not contain a particular nutrient. If this continues over a long period of time, the person may suffer from its deficiency. Deficiency of one or more nutrients can cause diseases or disorders in our body. Diseases that occur due to lack of nutrients over a long period are called deficiency diseases. Some diseases or disorders caused by deficiency of vitamins and minerals are Vitamin Deficiency Disease Symptoms Vitamin A Deficiency Disease Loss of Vision Symptoms Poor Vision Loss of Vision in Darkness Sometimes Complete Loss of Vision Vitamin Vitamin B1 Deficiency Disease Beriberi Symptoms Weak muscles and very little energy to do work. Vitamin Vitamin C Deficiency Disease Scurvy Symptoms Bleeding gums Wounds take longer time to heal. Vitamin Vitamin D Deficiency Disease Rickets. Symptoms. Bones become soft and bent. Vitamin. Calcium. Deficiency disease. Bone and tooth decay. Symptoms. Weak bones. Tooth decay. Vitamin. Iodine. Deficiency disease. Goiter. Symptoms. Glands in the neck appear swollen. Mental disability in children. Vitamin, iron, deficiency disease, anemia, symptoms, weakness. Cleaning food. Why do we clean food? To prevent food spoilage from microbes. To make food more nutritive for health. To keep human body free from diseases. To improve taste and acceptability. To improve quality which gives more return to the farmers. Hand picking. When the components of a mixture are different in color, size and shape, they can be separated by hand picking. Housewives often clean pulses and spices by this method. They remove small pebbles, dust, dirt and other unwanted materials. Sieving. This method is used to separate a mixture in which components are of different sizes. You must have seen your mother sieving wheat flour, atta, at home. The fine particles of atta pass through the sieve while the bigger particles remain on the sieve as shown in figure. Winnowing. This method is generally used by farmers 
to separate grain from husk after threshing. The farmer allows the mixture of grain and the husk to fall from height. The grains which are heavier fall vertically down on the ground. The husk which is lighter is carried away by the wind and forms a separate heap at a short distance from the heap of grains as shown. This process is called winnowing. Techniques used for separating mixtures. Filtration. The process of separating an insoluble solid from a liquid by passing the liquid through a filter paper or muslin cloth is known as filtration. Tea at home is filtered through sieve, whereas water can be filtered through muslin cloth or water filter. To filter substances in a large quantity quickly, other porous substances like charcoal, cotton, glass wool and unglazed porcelain are used. Let us perform the following activity to know about filtration. Separation of mixtures. To separate a mixture of water and sulphur, place the funnel containing the filter paper cone in a funnel stand with a beaker below. Pour the mixture on the filter paper with a glass rod slowly so that the liquid stands below the edge of the cone. Sedimentation. Sedimentation is the process by which the gravels and sand grains settle at the bottom of the rivers and gets accumulated near the shows and the clay particles settle down at the bottom of the rivers.